the Swedish wrestler had a long steady career that many did not know about. We now relate Johnson to Ed Wood, but Tor had a career before he knew Ed Wood. He was a regular bit part actor for many comedies before he became Lobo. He played roles along Bob Hope and Olsen and Johnson and Abbott and Stella. The large frame of Tor Johnson made him the perfect strongman and he wrestled for 25 years as a super Swedish angel before becoming Lobo. He described himself as the king size Joel Brenner. Tor and Bella Lugosi would work together on several films and legend has it that Tor saved Bella's life because the actor was threatening to kill himself. There's no record of this incident, so it has become a legend, and Bella's failed life has taken over the success of his life. The known film career for Tor Johnson goes as far as back as 1934 in the film Kid Millions with Eddie Cantor. I recognized him in the 1947 Road to Rio as a carnival strongman, and he would be a circus strongman in the Houdini biopic. He had steady work on television and movies, and the reason why was because many found him easy to work with. He had a guest row on You Bet Your Life. Even though Tor looked menacing, he was very friendly, and the cast of Ed Wood films became friendly with him. He and his family would invite some of the cast over his house for dinner. Some could say Tor Johnson probably was the most successful actor to come out of the Ed Wood cast. If you've not seen many of his early work, you might know that Bella and Tor Johnson played in a non-Ed Wood film called The Black Sheep that feature Basil Rathbone and John Carradine and Lon Chaney Jr. After Plan 9 from Outer Space, the movie theater horror experience was dying out and was inherited by television through the 60s where young boys would stay up late and watch a classic Frankenstein and Dracula movies. The last picture we would remember Tor from would be The Beast of Yucca Flats. Tor did promote Don Post mask in the 60s, and Don Post Studios would do a mask that would become popular during Halloween time that was based on Tor Johnson. The Don Post mask would sell 16,000 a year of the mask, and Tor would receive royalties from the mask. There's now a mask made by the Death Studios that is based on the Tor Johnson mask made by Don Post. Tor would lastly star in the film head by the monkeys as a guard and then left this world in 1971. Tor would be introduced to me through MST3K and of course the 1994 movie Ed Wood, one of my favorite movies. Tor reminds us that you do not always have to be beautiful to be memorable. And remember to subscribe, like, and share right here on the Coconut Daddy channel. You guys have a great day. Who's your daddy?